Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install PureDax FSR 3 frame generation mod in Palworld running on ROG Ally with Windows 11 and Steam Deck with SteamOS. I have already shown you how to install Luke FC's FSR 3 frame generation mod in this game on both Ally and Deck. With that mod, I observed some flickering of the game's interface. This problem is not present in PureDax mod. Build version 01 fixed HUD ghosting with FSR 3 frame generation. You need to subscribe to PureDax Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 5 US dollars. On their Patreon page, PureDax has provided the installation instructions. Extract the mod contents to the game's install directory. In the property of Palver, you just need to add this launch command dash dx12. With this command, the game will be running in DirectX 12 mode. Launch the game and select TSR for anti lazing or DLSS won't take effect. Enable DLSS and select a quality level. Press home keyboard key in order to open the mods menu. If you are using the mod for the first time, you will be required to authenticate it. Just press the authenticate button in the mods menu. It will open a browser window. Make sure you are signed to your Patreon page. The authenticator will ask for your permission. Just click on allow. Return to the game. Now access the mods menu. You will be able to access frame generation setting. I have already shown the authentication process in my Red Dead Redemption video. You can refer to that. You can toggle frame generation on the fly by pressing numpad star key. Okay, so first I will be showing you the mods installation process on my ROG Ally, Windows 11. Need to download the mod file. Open PureDax Discord server. Under download section, just click on Palwell beta access. Scroll down to the end. You will find FSR 3 build 03 archive file just click on the blue link there is the archive file that I just downloaded extract its content right click extract all copy all of these files need to paste them in the games install directory I on the steam version of Palworld this mod will not work with the PC game pass version of this game select the game in your steam library right click manage then click on browse local files open pal folder open binaries folder open bin64 folder paste the files here open steam select the game in your steam library then click on the setting cog here then click on properties under launch options just add this line of text dash dx12 that's it we are ready to run the game for this game i've set the uma buffer size to 6 GB on ROG Ally. My Ally is running on BIOS version 336. I'll show you the GPU drive version. I'll install the latest stable GPU drive from AMD. Current version 24.2.1 released on 15 February 2024. Connected my Cosmic by Stratos in on gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Command center setting using a 25 watts manual profile. RSR disabled 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Start the game. Reshade menu, mod is working. Show you the adrenaline settings. Press Alt plus R keys. I have enabled free sync. Radian anti lag setting enabled. V sync enabled as well. Graphics setting using the medium preset 720p resolution. V sync and motion blur disabled. With the medium preset, most of the settings are set to high. Anti lazing set to TSR using the quality preset of DLSS. I'll open the mods menu, press the home keyboard key. Here you go. Already done the authentication process. Enable frame generation setting check. I'll just uncheck it for the time being. Frame generation disabled. Make sure enable hot fix setting is checked. I haven't kept the FPS. From this drop down bar, we can select the upscaler. These are the different options available DLSS, FSR2, XCSS, and FSR3 on Ally. I'll be using FSR 3 game loader. There's my character. He will be getting around 44 FPS. This is the game running without frame generation. I'm in an open area. This game suffers from traversal stutters. VRAM usage is around 4.1 GB, almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. Another pal. Enjoying their time. This game is a combination of Ark Survival, Zelda, and Pokemon, of course. Okay, so now I'll enable frame generation. Let's 
return to the game yeah fps increased up to 80 not observing any flickering of the game's interface now coasting around the character model I'll engage in combat summon another pal attack this pal oh my god I had to capture the pal it managed to escape this pal is powerful all hell breaking loose I don't want my team to knock out that pal too late I can actually fly using this pal okay so mod works very nicely on rock ally with windows 11 now i'll be installing it on steam deck with steam os this is steam os running in desktop mode i have extracted the contents of palvel's fsr3 mod archive file copy all of the files and folder here need to paste them in the games install directory Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, then click on browse local files. This is the game's installed directory. Open PAL folder, boundaries folder, Win64 folder, paste the files here. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, then click on properties. This is the launch option, dash tx12. I'll be running the game using Proton Experimental as the compatibility layer. Switch to Steam Gaming Mode. If you are using the mod for the first time, I would recommend running the game in SteamOS Desktop Mode as you will be required to go through the authentication process. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Its display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate only. Performance tab, OLED level set to 3. I have check disable frame limit and allow tearing settings and that's it in game settings using the low preset 800p resolution vsync and motion blur disable with the low preset most of the settings are set to medium anti lasing set to tsr dlss set to balance open the mods menu press the home keyboard key enable frame generation and enable hard pick settings are checked Upscaler set to FSR 3. Let's start the game. The game has started here. We are getting around 50 to 60 FPS. It's the night time. My pals are accompanying me. A wild pal. It's running away. Okay, gameplay is a bit choppy. Good to see game's interface is not flickering. The mod installed. You can always drop a few settings, these files are sleeping right in the GP bottleneck. Our pals help us in our fights. Need to use my torch. That pal was already knocked out. Oh my god, look at the size of this pal. Field boss. Fly now. Not observing any graphical artifacts. I'm just flying around. Observed a lot of frame pacing issues with the mod installed, just like this. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.